Hi everyone, today in Integrated Math 2, we're going to go over Chapter 1, Lesson 10. So here are the objectives. Make sure you write them down in your notes. Alright, so let's just go over a quick concept here. The highest degree that you have will determine the number of roots. As you see here, we have the highest degree of 3, therefore we have 3 roots. Highest degree is 4, 4 roots. Highest degree is 5, therefore we have 5 roots. All right, so now let's try example 13. We want to state the possible number of positive real zeros, negative real zeros, and imaginary zeros for this f of x. So first of all, in order to find the number of positive real zeros, we're just going to simply find out the sign changes. So when we have a positive to a positive, there are zero changes in sign. A positive to a negative, there's one. A negative to a negative, zero changes. A negative to a negative, also zero changes. So positive real zeros, we have just one. And I'm just making a little note, I said positive, one. But now let's go ahead and find out how many negative real zeros we have. This one's going to be a little different because instead of just f of x, instead we have f of negative x. That means every single time you see an x, you're going to replace it with a negative x. So 3 times negative x to the fourth power plus 2 times negative x to the third power minus 2 times negative x squared minus 26 times negative x minus 48. All right, so quick rule of thumb for these ones is when you have an even degree and you're multiplying by like a negative 1, it's always going to end up becoming a positive. So 3x to the fourth the x is going to become positive because a negative times a negative gives you a positive. A positive times a negative gives you a negative. Then a negative times a negative will go back to a positive. Plus, and odd degrees, they're going to remain negative. So minus 21x cubed. A negative times a negative there's your negative. Once again, this is an even degree, so it's going to become positive. Minus 21x squared. Minus odd degree, because it's 1, that's going to remain negative. So positive 26x minus 48. Alright, so this is f of negative x. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see if our signs change. A positive to a negative, we have one change. A negative to a negative, zero changes. A negative to a positive, one change. And then a positive to a negative, one more change. So we're going to say negative changes, we have one, two, and three. And because it's higher than 1, we're going to go ahead and subtract it by 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1. If I had, let's say, 5 negative real zeros, then it would be 5, 3, and then 1. If I had 4 negative real zeros, then it would be 4, 2, and then 0. So to find the imaginary zeros, I'm going to go to this other slide. We know we have positive zeros, 1, and negative real zeros, we have 3 and 1. Here we're just showing all the possible possibilities. So possible real zeros is always just going to be 1, so I'm going to bring that 1 also here. Total amount of zeros, we have 4, because that's our highest degree. So 4 and 4. 
So it has to add up to be a total of 4. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Therefore, we would have 0 imaginary zeros. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 2 would give us our 4 imaginary zeros. And that's it.